if you had an autoimmune disease that's destroying one of your organs, when the organ is gone, it doesn't mean the disease is gone. It just means it doesn't have a target currently. But that's why people with Hashimoto's then later end up developing things like arthritis uh, and all sorts of different other diseases because they've still got the inflammatory illness. Can this help Hashimoto's? Uh, absolutely can help Hashimoto's. We've helped a lot of people reverse Hashimoto's. Um, Hashimoto's is autoimmune disease. It affects the thyroid. And in Western medicine, we don't do much to treat that besides wait for the thyroid to die because you can just take a thyroid hormone pill and you never need to worry about it again, right? Once the thyroid's dead, you don't have an illness anymore, except that you do. If you had an autoimmune disease that's destroying one of your organs, when the organ is gone, it doesn't mean the disease is gone. It just means it doesn't have a target currently. But that's why people with Hashimoto's then later end up developing things like arthritis uh, and all sorts of different other diseases because they've still got the inflammatory illness. So inflammatory illness is kind of like the way, the way I've been... Um, describing it lately, those of you who know me you know I like to have metaphors. I like to describe things in a visual way. Imagine it like a forest fire that's out of control. So there's constant sparks flying, it's going off into different areas that are trying to, you know, that are starting new fires all over the place. So that is also why Goodbye Lupus Protocol, the hypernourishment levels, the amount of food is so high because it takes that level of nourishment to start putting out these fires. If you have an out of control forest fire, you don't just take a glass of water and try to put that out. No, that's not gonna work, right? You need helicopters, you need airplanes, you need the trucks, right? We need to surround it and, and come at it at all areas. The airplanes are the omega-3s and the trucks are the high nutrient vegetables, right? And then and then we've got the, the uh, helicopters are, are all the water intake, right? We need to attack it at super high levels to get it to go away. So if you have Hashimoto's, you have a forest fire. It's just, there's no trees right now, right? So basically, but there's still sparks that are going to light other areas. So absolutely this works for Hashimoto's. Um, the only thing that I recommend, although everybody should do this, is make sure that you get your daily iodine dose. Um, I never saw iodine deficiency in my early years in, in medicine, but I've seen it over the past probably five years, especially. And I finally figured out the reason. It's because, you know, iodine was put into salt as a way to make everybody get their iodine dose because iodine is essential for thyroid function. But lately, there's been two fads that have stopped people from eating iodized salt. One is fancy salt, right? Getting special salts that don't have any additives in it, no iodine, and the salt-free diets that are out there. So a lot of people are not eating the iodized salt, and so they're not getting any other source of iodine, which is actually causing thyroid problems. Now, you don't want to overdo it by eating tons of seaweed because that has too much iodine and that can poison your thyroid. 150 micrograms a day is the dose that is considered what your body needs. So that is what I recommend. Uh, so make sure you get your daily iodine dose and then you can eat your cruciferous vegetables and all the foods you need to do and you can get your health back from the Hashimoto's and also stop the progression of autoimmune disease.